as you know, I've been missing in action a little bit, and I haven't had a chance to open my Happy Mail. So today, we're going to open our Happy Mail in this haul, but we're going to have to make it quick because, honey, sis got a lot. <laughs> Hey y'all, this is Kendra from Kendra the Plan, and if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for coming back. Um, as I said, we're going to be going through this haul. I'm going to try to make it really, really quick, but if you can do me a favor, go ahead and give this video that thumbs up we need so we can get it out there to the world. I know my algorithm is really, really, really low right now because I have been missing. I've missed you guys. Oh my God. I can't wait till we can catch up soon. But if you're brand new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And we're about to go ahead and get started. I'm going to make this quick, but I'm going to just keep it going and going and going all right first up we have what looks to be villa beautiful villa beautiful is this is probably so loud okay villa beautiful she has uh the pins so i also got these this is a pin look it's like a little enamel pin what a like a photo coming out of it. I thought that was really cute. It was on Clarence. And then this one's a magnet of just a bow. I thought that would be really cute to go in like um, my lanyard or something at CPC. And then I got all these pins here. So if you're brand, brand new here, and if you don't know my motto, I only buy the imperfect pins or the Clarence pins from Villa Beautiful. So she had a, I think this was a summer sale or end of the summer sale. Um, Cause again, I bought this at, at minimum six weeks ago. That's the minimum. It might've been eight weeks ago. It might've been two months since I bought these, you guys. But um, actually I think it is, it has been two months since I bought these. Anyways, these are the ones I bought. Again, I buy all imperfect pins and clearance pins. Majority of these pins was $5. I think one of them was like $4, $6, and maybe the max might be seven or eight. Plus, I got a discount on top of them. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 new pins. On top of what I already have, I have all these pins here again all bought on either clearance or imperfect pins but i told myself when she did the vault sale the first time i wasn't going to buy any more i didn't need them i don't like the way they write i'm going to be 100 percent honest with you i do not like the way they write i like the way they look and i really 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 love the way they look in my flat lay photos i feel like they've enhanced them a little bit so i went and got some more and um because i'm now i'm i guess we could say i'm obsessed you know i'm kind of collecting them at this point but i went and got some more and i got more based off colors when i go to do flat lay photos and if i don't have something of that for example i did not have a hot pink um this one i've just been eyeballing waiting for it to hit a, some type of clearance this is like a mauve nude uh, I knew we were going in the fall, so anything of the fall tones, I wanted to make sure I had that. This would be perfect for fall and winter. It's like a deep plum purple. This one was just super cheap, so I got it. Okay, one thing I did not have, and it I didn't realize this till I did um, flat lay photos after the last time I bought from them, is I did not have the color green at all. So I went and bought all the shades of green that were either um, imperfect or on clearance, except for like one I didn't like. But all So I got all these, these are all different shades of green. And I'm like, this is perfect, cause look, fall. Okay, hello somebody. And this is just one of my favorite colors, the lighter blues. Um, the yellow I have is like a super pastel-y yellow. This is the one I have already, and this is the one I got. So I don't know if you could tell on camera. You could barely tell on camera, but in person, two totally different things. But for flat lay photos, it's going to make a big, big difference. I have a solid gray now. I didn't have a gray one. Um, I had a purple, but it was a different shade of purple. Like this is the one I got. This is the purple I have. Two totally different shades. Oh, and I got this navy blue. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, and then I got these as well. So, look at my pin collection. Oh my God, look at my pin collection. 
Oh my God, that is insane. Insane. Okay, also from Villa Beautiful, I got these. Again, all this stuff, she was having like a clearance sale or some end of summer sale. Plus, you got a discount on these clearance items. Um, that's a freebie. I think this is a freebie. I did get this little charm. I thought this would be cute for fall. And then I got these mini sticky notes. But when they said mini, I didn't realize it was this mini. Like, this is mini mini. Oh, my goodness. I'm a sticky note fiend, but oh, my God. I was not expecting that. So moving on to the next shop. The next shop is Cloth and Paper. What did I get from Cloth and Paper? Oh my God, I need this so bad. I got some meeting notes. If you guys have seen my last Cloth and Paper unboxing and work set up, I told you guys I didn't realize until I was setting up my planner for that month that I was out of meeting notes and it's end of the fiscal year that just we're just closing out. And boy, was I scrambling in the meetings to find empty pages. I'm just going to show you guys really quick what the meeting notes look like. In case you've never seen them in my end frame, I am. So these are the meeting notes. You can put your dates here, the subject, agenda, attendees. I usually use this for something else, maybe a takeaway, because there's also a follow-up section here. And then you fill these out. And these are in a half letter size, disc bound from cloth and paper. And that's all I bought from them was just what I needed because I do have their sub box. All right, next shop is Martina Sticker Co. These are some freebies I got. There's this one. And there's this one. Okay, and then I got some fall stickers that I need to... I've been like, where's my stickers? And I was like, oh, that's right. I never opened them. So... I got a lot. I'm not going to lie to you guys. All right. So these are some bullet points that's going to match all the stickers I got. Then I got the lovely plaid washi strips. You guys know I love a good washi strip. Oh, that's, I didn't realize you guys could see those. All right. And then I got these lace washi strips. I thought these would be cute to be able to add into a spread. I got some yellow glitter block. Blah, blah, blah yellow glitter boxes purple glitter boxes orange glitter boxes i got lovely autumn sparkles these are just cute little um filler pieces that you could put in your spreads i got the almond plaid boxes chocolate plaid boxes moss green plaid boxes <laughs> Sage green plaid boxes, berry plaid boxes. Oh my God, I went crazy, you guys. Light mauve plaid boxes. I love a good mauve. Finding myself quotes. I got these on clear. Sometimes you need to lose who you were to find who you are, okay? That's called growth, honey. To travel is to take a journey into yourself. Life is an endless process of self-discovery. Amen, amen. Okay, that is finding myself quotes. And then I got new beginnings. Trust the magic of new beginnings. Don't be afraid to start over again. This is this time you're not starting from scratch. You're starting from experience. I like how she includes um some horizontal style quotes again i got those on clear these are lovely chris chrysanthemums oh is that the type of flower they are they're mauve okay i just like mauve just know that i know i like mauve and so i got these on clear and then i also got them on paper then i got lovely pink roses again these are like a mauve shade of roses so she did like a mauve theme um release these are lovely autumn leaves. I got these on paper, and I think I got them on clear as well. They're so pretty. Yeah, sloppy, sloppy lined leaves. I don't think they're sloppy at all, but I think I'm going to be able to use these a lot. Oh, and that's why I got two of them, because I got them on clear. Lovely brown autumn blooms. I got these on paper. Lovely green autumn blooms. Clear. Lovely pink autumn blooms. I got those in clear and on paper. Two sheets on paper. Lovely green autumn blooms again, but this time on paper. And then I got lovely autumn leaves on clear. 
I got almost her entire fall release when she did this release, you guys. And I just haven't had a chance to open my stickers. So obviously, you know, I haven't done a lot of fall spreads yet. So I'm super, super excited to finally have opened that and I can get into it. Y'all, I got a whole trash bag and everything over here because I knew it was about to go crazy. All right, let's see. Who is this? Oh, planning press. We have a planning press. These were, I will be honest, these were sent to me, okay? These were sent to me, and I am so appreciative of that. If you guys want to shop planning press, I will leave the link down below in um, the description box. You can use the code Kendra. <sighs> One T, I think is my code, Kendra20, to save 20% off. I will put my actual code right here. And if you click the link, it should automatically put the code in. But if not, make sure you use that coupon code to save you some money. So these are cozy, comfy. Uh, this is some end of the summer stickers, and I missed out on them. Oh, dang it. Cozy, comfy, too. It's okay. I can start my next summer off with them. Cozy, comfy, three. Before the summer ends, before the summer ends too. Oh, I'm so sad I missed that. Oh, look at these. I could still use these. Colorful boho. These are all on clear. So these will come in a set. You don't have to buy them in a set. You can buy them separately, but they'll have to, these two pages and then the matching boxes. And then, oh, these are so pretty. I could still use these. These are watercolor. These are mesmerizing. Oh my God, look at the strips. <gasps> these are pretty. I need to use these ASAP. Oh my God. I need to set this aside. I need to use that. This is Ginkgo. And then the matching boxes. And then, ooh, this is Tara. I also need to use this soon too. This is gorgeous and matching boxes so you can buy it as a set oh my god but these are my favorite these are my second favorite but these are going in the fall so make sure you guys check out planning press thank you to michelle for sending these over okay we're gonna keep it moving okay so last month i did something i haven't done in a really long time and i went to joann's and all i bought were the snap-in sheet protectors to put sticker sheets in because um, if you were at my live, the first party where we did a D-Stash party and I went through all those Happy Planner sticker books and I have all those sticker sheets from Happy Planner um, sticker books and I just have been letting them sit in the box. And then when I need something, I've just been flipping through it. I was like, I need something to actually put them in that I can see what I have. So I bought these and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start like a little small album. And this is what I bought. And I bought these for like 60% off, I think, because they were 50% off. Plus I got military discount. So Joanne's haul. All right. I got mojo jojo plans i did purchase this with my own money yes i did now with this one i bought autumn boxes 2.0 yes i already have this sticker book but um she revamped this one just a little bit and then she also did an autumn shapes i decided not to get the autumn shapes and just to get the 2.0 again because i pulled 2.0 a lot throughout the year and so I have a lot of colors missing and then I wanted some of the things that she revamped it with so these have some hollow in here I won't go through all of it um detail by detail but they have some hollow colored Halloween boxes but I really liked how she did this page here I don't know that I'm gonna use this and then I like page flags, but I don't know. These might be a little big, but I really like the revamped version. I, I use these. I've used a lot of these. So these are the colors, the sizing and all that. And then I like that she has the gray lines. Okay. This one I know I've used a lot of. And I'm not even a foil girly, but this foil in the fall, it goes off. And then that nude, you, again, I pulled the sticker book out 
year round because this little tan nude color it goes with a lot so there's those and there's this one let's keep it real i needed all of this set again <laughs> This green, this purple, this green go, this green and purple go off in the fall, but they also go off in the spring. Like during the spring, I was pulling this book out a lot. I think you guys, if you saw some of my videos, you knew like I was instantly like, let me get autumn 2.0, let me get autumn 2.0. And then the individual sheets, these colors sold out immediately. I didn't even get to get to them. Oh no, I thought there was more squares than this. No? Okay. Well, it is what it is. But yes, that was like, I need these colors again. And now I got bullet points and different size checklists. And then I, I never use this set right here. <laughs> Just being honest. But yes, so I got that. And again, I purchased with my own money. However, if you want to shop with Mojo Jojo Plans, I will put an affiliate link down below in the description box. And you can use the code Kendra10. Kendra10 will save you 10% off those purchases. Okay. Then I went to Hobby Lobby a month ago, maybe a month. Yeah, that had to have been at least a month and a half ago. I went to Hobby Lobby and I went to go get this. This is, I don't want to open it yet because I don't want to lose anything. But this is a undated dashboard layout with some really ugly dividers. I don't care about the dividers. I just wanted the dashboard layout because in the fall release, the Happy Planner did not come out with a dash a mini dashboard that i liked um and they only came out with one dashboard mini dashboard and it had color on the spine i think it was so my thought process was i was going to create my own mini planner in 2025 so i went in there to buy two of these this was the last one they were having 40 percent off the week i went so i'm gonna have to try to catch hobby lobby again before December or really before the end of November is when I start setting up my planners so that I can get a second one of these. This is only six months worth. And again, I need to create a whole year's worth planner. But while I was in Hobby Lobby, I also got some more mini um, dividers. If you guys saw my sticker store series for proud sticker designs, you guys know I, I didn't have enough dividers for what I wanted. So I bought these from Hobby Lobby for 40% off so I can do those extra sections. If you haven't seen that video, if I can remember, I will link it right here um, in the cards so you guys can go see the video of how I'm storing some of my stickers. And then while I was there, oh, while I was there, I bought this. Did I need this? No. Did I buy it? Yes. I bought it. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. But I bought it. <laughs> she bought it. I bought a Skinny Classic 12 month 2025 planner <laughs> from Hobby Lobby. I'm not going to, I don't want to spoil this juices of this, but it's a very pretty planner. It's really pretty. And it's a skinny classic. What I'm going to do with it in 2025, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But the skinny classic may return. I don't know. Have, what do we have here? Stick with Katie. But I have two pink envelopes. I don't know what is what. And I think one of them I didn't want to put in this video, if I'm not mistaken. They're in an envelope. Says, thank you thank you okay all right oh okay cool this is my most recent order okay so these are a couple of dolls i got from stick with katie's most recent order this is kiana this is Brittany. this is k k is k is cute honey is it K or say? And this is Beetlejuice. So this was really her Halloween release. She had a bunch of dolls with Halloween costumes. I've said it here before. I'll say it again. I'm not much of a Halloween girly, but I like that she had these options here for people who aren't huge into Halloween. And I was really excited that she did that. So I went ahead and bought those. But that's all I got from her Halloween release. And I'm very proud of myself 
Because if you know me, you know I normally go crazy. Okay? Crazy. Okay, next up we have... Oh, this is Martina Sticker Co. again. <laughs> Remember, this is almost two months worth of purchases. So, yes. She had another release and I didn't even open the first release of stickers I bought. Okay, so these stickers, these are Halloween stickers or blooms and florals and things from Martina Sticker Co. And they're supposed to go with some of the dolls that um, Katie made for Halloween. However, I, like I said before, I didn't get all of them. I really didn't get many of them. But um, I still got some of these blooms because I have dolls already that they'll match. So I got this one. This one says Woody Blooms. There was a Woody doll. I probably should have got that one at least. Okay, and then I got It Blooms. And then I got Beetlejuice Blooms. So, this is what I mean. I got the Beetlejuice Blooms. And then I got the Beetlejuice Doll. Okay. Eh, eh, okay, you see where I'm going with that? So, that's how the collection was made. In that manner. Okay, and then I got some orange roses, and then I got mermaid blooms, and I got two sheets of those in clear. She had a mermaid doll, um, Katie did, but I already have a doll that's going to match with these, so I was like, I don't need to buy, I need to cut back. If you guys saw me, oh, and look at this, this is the um, freebie, look how cool that is, uh, but if you guys saw that last uh, sticker store series for stick with katie that you guys already know like i don't need to be buying no more dolls right now i think this is something i wanted to sit aside all right so i guess this is the last thing mm. i bought a planner from the happy planner The Happy Planner was having a sale. So I bought this planner that was already on a, like a clearance sale type price. Plus I got the sale on top of it. And then um, normally I do like two day shipping. I didn't do that because I didn't have to pay for shipping on this one. Um, so I got it really cheap. Didn't have to pay shipping. And this is a horizontal layout 12 month undated planner. And this is the original um layout so you guys know i'm a horizontal girly the happy planner recently changed their horizontal layout and i don't like it i don't like it at all i'm not okay with it so what i did was i got this undated planner for cheap and um i'm gonna decide what i'm gonna do i haven't fully decided if i'm even gonna use it it's just the fact that i got it for cheap hmm, this feels thinner than the than the dated ones but okay but but it's just the simple fact that i was able to get it for cheap in the event that i want to go ahead and date this and use this as my 2025 planner i just know i'm right now i'm in the midst of weighing my options because my current um horizontal planner it's good through june it's going to be good till july it, it, it's dated to july my current planner so i really have till july to figure things out uh, but I have this on standby in the meantime. Nice, clean cut. But, um, so yeah, I have this in the meantime. And uh, we also will have a winter release and a spring release before my current horizontal planner is up. So we'll just have to see what happens. But I did want to get this while I had the opportunity to get it for free shipping and super cheap. Like I said, uh, it took weeks to get to me. But, oh well, 
Oh, well, honey. The whole point was cheap. Okay. And also now I have options. So that is my haul video. Hopefully I made that quick enough for you guys. That was quite a bit to get through. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what was your favorite items you guys saw in this haul. And if you enjoyed this video, wait, what's this? If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Should you have it in your heart, please hit that subscribe button. As always, you guys stay positive. Be blessed. Love y'all. Peace.